My apologies for the audio quality in this video. I'm still learning what I'm doing, obviously. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. So, anytime a piece of gear shows up in my front door with a Rigol tag on it, it's a rather exciting day. We have a box that was delivered a couple hours ago. It's from Rigol. Let's open this bad boy up and see what it is. As Rigol gear often is, it is double boxed. So let's flip this over and see if we can get the outer box off. There's the outer box. And let's take a peek at what goodies are in the inner box. We have a bag here labeled Active Logic Probe, an RPL1116 main cable, and it's got a static sensitive tag on it. We have a couple of BNC to BNC mail cables. We have a US IEC power cord. We have the owner's manual, and this kind of gives a hint as to what this is. It's an MSO 1000Z series. We have two 2150 passive oscilloscope probes. I believe the 150 refers to 150 megahertz, though I could be wrong. We have two more 150, 2150. Probes. We have a USB cable, and we have an oscilloscope. You set these boxes aside, and we'll take a look at this guy. Always exciting when new lab gear arrives. makes for a very nice day. I bought this equipment here in the U.S. through a company called Key Equipment. I think it's keyequipment.net is their website. I've had really good service from them. I've been pleased with the interaction with them. I had an order get screwed up uh, a couple of years ago. I was to good care of me. They got me what I needed quickly. Well, here we go. We have a Rigol MSO1104Z oscilloscope with logic probe. This is a 100 megahertz four channel oscilloscope with 16 channel logic probe. And this one has the built in function generator. And I'm not sure, source one, source two, perhaps here on the back. I know it's got a 25 megahertz, I believe, do channel, dual channel function generator built in. Let's take a look in the static sensitive active probe bag and see what we have. I didn't realize these were active probes until actually reading this here. We have, you won't be able to see these. I will open the bag and give you a view of a few. We have these little micro clippers for attaching to various signals uh, and whatever you're attaching the, log the logic analyzer to. We have a set of leads labeled ground which are female, uh, 0.1 millimeter female, 0.1 millimeter so that we could get a good ground reference to the logic probe. Very nice. Get this back in the bag. We have another bag full of the clip leads. We 
have a bag of female to female. 0.1 millimeter leads again, and these have little tags on them with the channel number. Very nice. I didn't realize how nice these would be with the channel numbers molded into them. That's going to make things much easier. We have a adapter brick of some kind. Hopefully you can see that. It's an RPL1116 Active Logic Head. 100k ohm inputs, 8 puff. Maximum plus or minus 40 volts. And we have what I assume is the cable assembly to run from the scope to the active head. We have got this in shot. Oh, and it's got a great length to it. This is going to work very well on my bench. This is longer than I thought it was going to be. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing here. Let's put this all back in its little anti-static bag. Hopefully everything is somewhat staying in frame for you here. The little active probe manual. Uh, the second half is in English. How to connect it. Methods of using, getting the signals, setting it up. I've used several types of logic probes over the years. Uh, I have a couple of expensive USB ones here that are okay. I wouldn't call them spectacular. I've done the job. Looks like a pretty standard set of probes with a nice old uh, Rigol scope. You've got little adjustment tool for the scope probe. You've got the high frequency springs, uh, the little colored discs to identify each probe. A set of two. Oh, they're nice and wound together. Fun, fun, fun. Pretty standard oscilloscope probe. You've probably seen you know, a million times. It's a very standard probe. I believe rated for 150 megahertz as this is a 100 megahertz scope. So there you have a quick unboxing of what I found on my doorstep this morning. I will be comparing this scope side by side. I have another Rigol 4 channel scope. 50 megahertz model. It doesn't have the logic analyzer or the generator. I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison. Hopefully to give you an idea of what you gain going to 100 megahertz versus the 50 megahertz scope. And we'll go from there. Let's go back in here. I'll hold this guy up for you one more time. Give you a nice view, beautiful piece of kit. I've really come to appreciate the Rigol gear. I bought one of their very early 50 megahertz scopes, dual channel, many, many years ago. Uh, hacked it shortly after to get 100 megahertz out of it. That's how I actually discovered the EEV blog was on hacking the scope. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you're looking forward to the side by side comparison. Thanks for watching.